So a few videos ago, I told you we discovered an ammonia leak in our cooling back here on the refrigerator, one of our refrigerators. Today I was cleaning up, doing some stuff, came up with an idea. Our brother-in-law said, well, if it's broken, sure can't, help, can't hurt to try this stuff, quick steel. So we're trying some quick steel on the little ammonia leak that we've got. We'll see if it works. If it stops the leak and the refrigerator starts cooling normally again, probably save me at least five, six hundred bucks. So we'll see. I've got it all taken apart. Circuit board, everything unplugged so there's no power. Gas turned off. Made sure that the little switch here is completely turned off gas is shut off gas shut off at the main area down underneath we'll see we got it all put back together got the cover on the circuit board all the fuses are hooked back together gas lines turned back on gas is main gas is turned back on and the uh, plug up at the top is plugged or at least the hole is plugged I guess Let's go look, see if you can see that. Can you see the patch we put on it right there? We're gonna see if that works. Been a while since we talked about the refrigerator and the leak that we found in it, the ammonia leak. We think we fixed that with a uh, kind of a steel patch from my brother-in-law, Kevin. However, we discovered that it won't run on electric. It's only running off of propane. And we think it's the motherboard. At least I think it is. I kind of did some deductions. Remember, this is not a how-to video at all. This is not what you should do. This is what Tom would do. WWTD video. So, we ordered a motherboard, a circuit board. If replacing a back black box boards beginning with part number 293 XXXXX, this is a Dometic part to replace, a, they call it a dinosaur part. <laughs> kind of like me, it's so old, they call them dinosaur parts. But we're going to take the uh, motherboard off of the fridge and put the new motherboard on and cross our fingers that that solves our problem. If that does not solve our problem, WWTD. What would Tom do at that point? Well, let's get busy. All right. Okay, we're sitting in the basement. Let's just see. Made in the USA part. We know that for sure. There it is. Dinosaur Electronics. And there's our circuit board underneath the cover. And that's the new one that hopefully will remedy our problem. Ooh, look at all them pretty shiny hookups. I gotta figure out which one goes where. <laughs> Good thing I took a picture of the old one. So if you'll remember back, way back, one of the earlier videos, the circuit board is underneath this. So I need to release, take that one screw off the top take the cover off and then there should be two screws one on each side of the circuit board we'll take those off and I think what I'm going to do is put the other one on and then take the plugs off of this one one at a time and replace the other one just because I'll never figure out where they're supposed to go and one thing I have to do is get back here turn the gas supply off make sure that it is totally unplugged and then I'm going to go up here and unplug it make sure there's no power going to the fridge all right, I have turned the gas off right there to this refrigerator. Gas is completely turned off. I have removed the screw on the top. So we're ready to take this off, the cover. And there's the circuit board. Cross our fingers that the other one is identical. <laughs> All right, I have the new circuit board installed, all the plugs in place. We've turned the gas valve back on so far haven't heard the gas click on we did hear this click as soon as we turned the fridge on inside the RV 
which hopefully means it's working. Here's what we've done this morning. We've powered down the RV, taken it off of our uh, full hookups. I have turned the breaker off because we wanted to check that uh, circuit board. So I've turned the breaker off. We have no power. It's kind of like we're boondocking right now just to test this thing out. So what I've done is we put both refrigerators on propane and this one with the uh, new circuit board that I put in right there I turned the gas on you can see the little slot if you go up and down it's off left to right gas is flowing so we waited the 45 seconds and sure enough this board ignited just like it was supposed to and we are on gas on this so what we're going to do is let the refrigerators run this one's fine we already know that but let this refrigerator run on propane for at least an hour and then we're going to check the temperature on it just to make sure yeah there's heat in there and I can hear the flame no heat up here in the coils yet but there is flame and heat, so I think everything's going to work just right. So we'll go ahead and put the new cover on this. And uh, you know what? Before we put the cover on, I need to date it when we put it on and put the new circuit board in. But there you go. How you like them apples? Another WWTD video. Not a how-to video. We're not instructors. We don't know what we're doing. We just try to make it work right for us all the time. So there you go with that. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you click the little bell, and that way you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And make sure to subscribe, too, if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, share this video out with some of your friends. Okay? Appreciate it. Thanks for using the Amazon link. We truly do appreciate you guys watching this. See ya! See ya!